Hey everyone, I'm Josiah and welcome to another edition of Fulcrum in 4, where we show you what's new in Fulcrum. There's a lot of exciting updates this time around and they fall into three major themes. A new way to connect with your customers, increased quality information, and general improvements to the ease of use of the system. First up, we're thrilled to introduce you the initial version of our customer portal. Here your customers can log in and view both their order and invoice statuses, relevant dates, drill down into the order details, and even search and filter to find what they're looking for. Your shop's live production data automatically updates the portal so your customers can log in at any time for accurate numbers. Hopefully this helps ease the pressure on you to be providing updates to them. For a deeper look into how this customer portal can work for you, watch the customer portal overview, which I'll link at the end of this video. Next up, Fulcrum's focus on quality control continues with new audit logs in the sales orders. To find it, we'll go to any sales order and click the details underneath the title. This log tracks basic changes, making it easier to monitor who did what when, so you can address changes as needed. As always, we're working to make the experience of using Fulcrum the best it can be. And right now, a team of developers are focused on specifically improving the workflow of production managers. You'll notice a lot of small but mighty updates across the system. For example, soon you'll have more control over what shows up on job labels, which you'll be able to edit in your system data labels and find them down here titled job labels. Here you can adjust what fields you want to show up on the labels and the font sizes. The changes made will reflect on the labels when printing like this. Moving over to the jobs details page, you can now edit the quantity of a job that's already in progress. All you need to do is hit edit quantity, change the value and hit save. This is the first change in our efforts to make it easier to edit in progress jobs. And if we scroll down to this operations drill down, you're now able to see key details of associated purchase orders here instead of having to navigate to the purchase order itself. These are some of the first steps in a series of upcoming updates that are geared towards putting all of the key information in one place for production managers. And we've also made enhancements to other key areas in the platform, like the quotes grid. Previously, you could only filter by status, but now we've added more filters and additional key performance indicators, so you can use this grid as a powerful tool for understanding where quotes are at in the sales process. Finally, we've changed the way the system interacts with customized inventory. Now, if you have an item that's adjusted for a job and has a different bill of materials and routing from the parent item, you'll see these little tags that say custom on the item. And when we go to the parent items details page, you'll see those finished items here with a tag as well, similar to how the system handles reserved inventory. This gives you the same level of detail on customized items as you'd expect from any other item in Fulcrum. Behind the scenes, our engineering team has been working hard to improve the stability and performance of Fulcrum by refactoring key components of the system. This is a massive effort, but it's crucial to building the most reliable, fastest system in the industry. And unfortunately, we didn't have all the time to go through every update that's happened in Fulcrum over the last month today. So go to fulcrumpro.com slash product dash updates to get the full list of product updates. And if you want to see how one of these work in your instance of Fulcrum, reach out to your customer success manager or launch manager. Thanks for watching Fulcrum in 4, and we'll see you next time.